What up everybody, Instructor Beats back again today talking about division with the standard algorithm, focusing um, specifically on two or three digit dividends being divided by one digit divisors. This is video number four in our division playlist. We'll hope you'll check out those other ones. So let's dive right in. Today you will be able to divide two and three digit dividends by one digit divisors by using the standard algorithm. So today is all about using the standard algorithm, which is a different way to divide for some of our friends who might have learned partial quotients. Um, you can always check out our other strategies and our other um, division videos, but today we are focused on the standard algorithm. Here are your steps for success when you are trying to divide using the standard algorithm. The first one. The dividend goes inside, the divisor goes outside. Okay, and we'll show you what we mean by that. Step number two, you're gonna make an easy multiple sheet if needed. So a lot of times when we divide by one digit divisors, we might not need them because we have our basic facts memorized, but I'm gonna show you what that means today because it's gonna help you down the road and you can use it today if you need to. Step number three, we're gonna follow HMSB. How many groups? Multiply, subtract, bring down, and then you are only done when there is a digit over each digit in the dividend. And again, we'll share, I uh, will show you what we mean by that, but these are our four basic steps. And so let's dive a little bit into what this HMSB means. How many groups multiply, subtract, bring down? How many groups multiply, subtract, bring down? So hopefully you've checked out our song about dividing in this, using the standard algorithm. If you haven't, we invite you to check that out when you get done with this video. But it talks about these four basic steps for the standard algorithm. The H being how many. So the first thing you're going to ask yourself is, how many groups of my divisor can I fit into the first digit in my dividend? And we'll show you what that means. And then once you figure that out, you're going to multiply the divisor times that number and then you're going to subtract and then you are going to bring down your next digit and so the standard algorithm doesn't do a great job of conceptually showing you what you're doing when you're dividing um, something that's better for that is actually the partial quotients which we do have a video uh, for you to check out about that but these are the steps that you're going to use when you do the standard algorithm so the first thing i want to do right Step number one is I want to put my dividend on the inside, right? And I want to put my divisor on the outside. And my second step is to make an easy multiple sheet. So an easy multiple sheet's easy, and it is making multiples of eight. And so I'm going to write down, starting with one group of eight, right? How many, oh, sorry, that should be two, right? And this would be three groups of eight. And I'm going to do this all the way to nine. Now, for our one digit divisors this might not be necessary but it's important to know how to do this strategy so that way when you get to bigger divisors two or even three digit divisors you'll have something that you can use so that should be a nine okay so one group of eight is eight two groups of eight is 16 three groups of eight is 24 four groups of eight is 32 five groups of eight is 40 six groups of eight is 48, 7 groups of 8 is 56, 8 groups of 8 is 64, and 9 groups of 8 would be 72. Now, my third step, right, was to follow my four basic things you're doing when you do the standard algorithm, which is Many groups multiply, subtract, bring down. How many groups multiply, subtract, bring down? How many groups multiply, subtract, bring down? So if I want to underline my first digit, and I want to ask myself, how many groups of eight fit into four? Well, that's silly. The answer is zero. Eight's too big. So I'm going to put a zero directly above my hundreds place. Okay. And I know some teachers teach you to skip that or just don't worry about it. It's very important that you put this zero here because that's going to help you make sure your place values are lined up, which is going to help you when you get to decimals. So now I've done how many? Now I multiply. Eight times zero is zero, obviously. My next step is S, which means subtract, right? And then my next step is bring down. So whatever the next digit is, I'm going to bring it all the way down. And now I have a new number here, 40. And so I'm going to start all the way back over. Many groups multiply, subtract, bring down. How many groups multiply, subtract, bring down? How many groups of eight fit into 40? If you don't know your basic facts, you come over here and you can look. And I can see that very clearly 
5 groups of 8 went into 40. So I'm going to use a 5 right there. I'm going to multiply 8 times 5 is 40. Now when you multiply, you're not multiplying by both of these digits, although for this it wouldn't matter because it's just 5. It's just whatever the digit or how many groups you wrote up there the last time. So multiply 8 times 5 is exactly 40. I'm going to subtract with my next step. That's 0. And then I need to bring down my next digit. And my next digit would be a 1. How many groups of 8 go into 1? 0. I'm going to multiply. 8 times 0 obviously would be 0. Subtract. I have 1 left over. And I don't have anything left to bring down. So this would be my remainder. Now, I know that I'm done because I have a digit over each digit in my dividend. I've used all my numbers and I have a digit over each digit, which is kind of confusing when you say it like that. So my answer for 401 divided by 8 is going to be 50 with a remainder of 1. Now, just to double check, we know that the inverse operation of division would be multiplication. So if we take 50 and multiply it by 8, right? That's going to be 400, and then we add our remainder to that, right? And our answer is 401. So we know our did, we did our math right because we checked it with the inverse operation. So this is how you use an easy multiple sheet. It's just nine groups of whatever your divisor is. Important that you know how to do it today, even if you don't need it because you know your eights or your nines or your fours because you will use it when you get to two digit divisors and a couple lessons. So the next one I wanna show you, okay, is again, I do so you can just watch, but I wrote it like this for a purpose. I wanted to review fact families and inverse operations. And so we know when we're looking for this missing factor right here, we can actually use our fact family knowledge or our inverse operations and write this as division. So to solve for that missing factor, I could do 204 divided by seven, and that's gonna give me that, right? So first step, I'm going to put my dividend inside, right? And I'm gonna put my divisor on the outside. My second step today is to make my easy multiple sheet. So over here, I'm gonna start with one group, right? And my divisor is seven. So I'm gonna do one group of seven, two groups of seven, three groups of seven, four groups of seven, five groups of seven, six groups of seven, I, where I go all the way to nine because the biggest group that you would use would be nine for the standard algorithm. So eight groups of seven, and I'm choosing to use groups of for my multiplication and not times as many as, right? Nine groups of seven. So one group of seven is seven, two times seven is 14, three groups of seven is 21, four groups of seven is 28, five times seven is 35, 6 times 7 is 42, 7 times 7 is 49, 50, 56, and then 63, right? And so now I can kind of, I write my steps up here to help me remember if I get confused. And the first thing I'm going to start with is Many groups multiply, subtract, bring down. How many groups multiply, subtract, bring down. How many groups? So how many groups of 7 fit into 2? Obviously that would be a 0. My next step would be to multiply. 7 times 0 is 0. My next step is to subtract, which is 2. And my next step is to bring down the next digit. Now I start back over. Many groups multiply, subtract, bring down. How many groups multiply, subtract, bring down? How many groups of 7 fit into 20? Well, if I look over here, I, I, I can fit 7. I can fit 14. I can't fit 21 because that's too big. So I'm going to use 14 because you always need to use the most amount possible, and that is going to be two groups. So up above my zero, I write my two groups. I multiply, and that's 14. I'm going to subtract, right? I'm going to use my subtraction knowledge here. That's going to become a six, and then I need to bring down my next digit. Many groups multiply, subtract, bring down. How many groups multiply, subtract, bring down? So how many groups of seven can go into 64? I can actually go all the way up to nine groups because that's 63. And so my nine goes above the four. When I multiply seven times nine, that's gonna give me 63. And the cool thing about your easy multiple sheet is you've already done all the work here. So when it's time to multiply, you don't have to think about it. You've already written that down. So all your thinking and all your, not all your thinking, but all your basic fact knowledge is already written down for you just to take off of here and plug into your algorithm. So my next step would be to subtract, which is one. I have nothing left to bring down, 
So for now, I'm going to be done. And I know that I'm done because I have a digit over each digit in my dividend. So my answer is 29 and I have a remainder of one. And I'm gonna check it using my inverse operation, which is multiplication. So nine, or sorry, 29 times seven, that's gonna be 63. Regroup my six, seven times two is 14, plus six is 20. And then I have to add my remainder that I had left over, which obviously is gonna give me 204. So my answer is correct. So why don't you go ahead and pause the video, try this one. Obviously you probably know your basic facts for three, but still practice your easy multiple sheet just so you know the strategy. When you when you're ready, push play and we'll check it together. So hopefully you just check this out, right? We're going to have 899 in my dividend. That's my divi or sorry, my dividend is 899, so that goes inside. My divisor is a 3, goes on the outside. And I'm going to make my easy multiple sheet for 3. Now I write down my steps, how many groups, multiply, subtract, bring down, and I'm going to start with my very first digit. How many groups of three go into eight? I obviously can see that I can fit six in, which is going to be two groups. So I'm going to put a two above the eight. I'm going to multiply now as my next step. That's six. I'm going to subtract. I get two, and I'm going to bring down, and now I get to start back over. My new number is 29. How many groups of three go into 29? I can go all the way up to nine groups, which is going to be 27. So above my nine, I'm going to put another nine. My next step is to multiply. Three times nine is 27. My next step is to subtract. So I'm going to have two. And then actually, I'm going to have the same number again. Once I bring down, I have 29. So I know that's going to be another nine. And then when I multiply, I've already multiplied, so I don't have to think about it, is 27. I subtract, I have nothing left to bring down, and I know I'm done because I have a digit over each digit in my, in my dividend. So my answer should be 299, remainder two. And again, if you're ever not sure, you can double check this using your inverse operation for, for division, that would be multiplication. And we can multiply this, 27, 27 plus two is 29, carry the two or regroup. 6 plus 2 is 8, and then I need to add my remainder, which was 2, and I can see that I have 899, which is what my dividend is. So you don't always have to check with multiplication, but I just want to show you that in the video to let you know that that is a possibility of something you can do if you're not sure if your answer is right. So hopefully today you learned something new. Maybe you learned how to use an easy multiple sheet. Maybe you didn't need it, but it's still a good uh, skill to have when you do need it when you get to bigger divisors and you don't want to you don't need to know your 123 basic facts right you don't need to know 123 times four you know off the top of your head so you use that easy multiple sheet to set you up for success before you attempt to start solving the problem hopefully you enjoyed this please check out our standard algorithm song which is on our youtube page instructed beats official it's really catchy it'll help you remember the steps of how many subtract multiply bring down you can always follow us on instagram at, at instructed beats or email us at instructed beats at gmail.com thanks so much for checking us out we appreciate it instructed beats out